Right again. This time into the middle for Sam Samioa. Driving forward, puts a shot on Christensen, mishandles it, dives on top of it. It's an offside flag raised. Does get it to Adam Gottschalk. We'll cut inside of it, leave it for Osweiler Hodgick. A nice lead back to Adam Gottschalk. He takes a shot, deflected, and it gets out of play for a corner kick. Still can't find a way to get on board, but at least that's their second shot on goal. Hobbs, the kicker there, comes through and clears it past the Maverick defense. Correa's going to take a shot. Hobbs slips. It goes through his hands into the goal. Kevin Correa's got his first goal for the Mavericks. Hobbs will want a second chance at that one, but to be fair, that was a good blast from Correa. A heads-up blast, realizing the keeper was scrambling to get back into position. Correa put a hard shot on him. Hobbs did all he could to try to keep it out, but it got through his hands into the goal. 1-0 Omaha, 644 until the break. And they do. To the left side here for Bartra. Bartra playing a little 1-2. It's come back to him. This is a good chance for CSUN. Bartra will put a shot in and off the crossbar and in. What a goal there for Paul Shono for Bartra. We're level at one apiece. Minute and a half to go until the break. And we're going to go to the break with our score. Omaha 1, CSUN 1. One. 18 minutes to play up in Grand Forks where the Mavericks and North Dakota are tied 1-1. Turnover here, Amir Ali Hodgik with it. Ali Hodgik driving into the middle. We'll leave it for Andre Shervin. Back into the middle for Mendez. His shot! Logan Mendez has scored in back-to-back -back games. Could it be another game winner? Well, the Mavericks have 38 more minutes. Try to make it stand up. He's got options to cross, or he can drive and shoot. What is he going to do? Moulton drives in, shoots, and scores! Look at that! Mark Moulton's put the Mavericks up 3-1 to one with another outstanding goal. The junior is really taking off and reaching new levels this year for the Mavericks. Three goals and three matches for Mark Moulton. I think this game had trap game written all over it with uh, us beating a top 10 team in Irvine and us being excited over that and Sunday being it was going to be 95 degrees. Cal State Northridge used about 22 players on Friday night. We only used 13. So there were a lot of things that we could have said that um, you know, made up for us to, to lose this game. Um, and we did. So I'll, I am proud of our guys' mentality for the way they came out today. And you're right, we started four or five different guys. Uh, we learned from that last weekend. We went with our same starting lineup on Sunday. And we won the game, but I felt like we didn't, uh, didn't come out exactly well. And so I wanted to make sure uh, late in the first half and in the second half we were going to be the aggressive team out here and we were going to be the team that had the most legs. I think it paid off big time. I think you saw when our guys came in, uh, you know, about 20 minutes left in the first half, it changed the game right away. And credit to Northridge for answering back and getting a goal right before halftime. But I think you saw the, uh, the same, same type of guys come out in the second half and finish the game off pretty early in the second half. Second chance here for CSUN. Shot comes from distance. Christensen with a great save. Roving to his right. And the clock will run out. What a weekend for the Mavericks. Their first top 25 win over UC Irvine on Friday. And now the first ever 4-0 start in program history. A massive 4-1 beatdown of CSUN today. The Mavericks use three second half goals to propel them to victory. Omaha's 4-0 on the road next weekend. Marquette and DePaul. The challenges await. But the Mavericks have had a great start to this year.